August, your aunties are going to Home Depot looking for daddies. Apparently, there's this whole subgenre of social media videos, especially on TikTok, that help people pick up other people at Home Depot. And this isn't discriminatory based on gender, okay? So if you're a man, there's advice for you. If you're a woman, there's advice for you. You can go to a Home Depot and figure out exactly which aisles to shop in in order to find you know, the creme de la creme of partners, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon uh, we're gonna have videos on how to pick up uh, people if you're LGBTQ, seriously, literally. And this is all around Home Depot. Like, ex except there's one thing about Lowe's. Who goes to pick up who at Lowe's? You'll love that part, okay? But so far, nothing else about uh, Ralph's or any of the grocery stores, except I have stories about that. Uh, having picked up women at Taco Bell and Food Town, which is a grocery store in New Jersey back in the day, let alone many other places, but that's for a little bit later. Notice. So the TikTok trend Home Depot dating apparently is trending with 4.4 billion views on the search. Okay, mm -hmm. um, for anyone who's wondering how to find a Home Depot date, uh, user Patrick Linder, aka Architect Daddy. Made a oh, yeah. pretty thorough video explaining the ins and outs of this whole game. So let's watch. Away from the paint section and the garden center. No man is ever here for himself. He's always doing a project for his girlfriend or his wife. Lumber, stay away from this aisle. Any carpenter knows that real timber is delivered on site. This is amateur wood and we both know you deserve better. That's why they have tools here. They don't have tools themselves. So those are the no-nos, mm -hmm. the don'ts. But what about the do's? What about the do's? Let's watch. The tile aisle, this is perfect. Guys here, they're jacked. They make really good money and they do this, some of their best work horizontally. Plumbing and electrical fittings. These aisles are for guys that are in the trades, they're professionals. Okay, so every Home Depot has a tool hub at the center of it. This is the place where the best fishing is to be had. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cast around the power tools, making judgment calls, and then finish in hand tools. As you walk the power tool section, remember three rhymes. If it's lime, you don't have the time. If it's orange or yellow, he's a good fellow. And if it's red, build a homestead. I think he's talking about the colors for various brands and green is the Ryobi brand, which um, it's like Home Depot's brand for, for power mm -hmm. tools. I agree with him. I'm more mm. of a, um, the yellow is. Uh, he's a good fellow. Yes, yes, and it's. DeWalt, I freaking love DeWalt. I okay. love DeWalt. I, I'm all about DeWalt. Okay, look, I'm in favor of taking people. Nikita's good too, but DeWalt. Okay, <laughs> no interest, zero interest, none at all. Love I'm not that tools. kind of guy. Uh, so everybody's different, right? So uh, you wanna have a good steak dinner, I'm in. You wanna watch football, I'm in. You wanna play poker, I'm in. You wanna drink a lot, I'm in, okay? You wanna go to Home <laughs> Depot and make me build crap? Hell yeah. I'm out, God, Can I just enjoy say, it. Oh, hey, would you like to do more labor? Uh, men, no. But men who like, this is just my preference, okay? I don't speak for all women, I wanna be clear about that. Like there's something so sexy about watching a man work. Yeah, you're you not know? gonna get that one from me. Unless you mean by work, just jibber jabber. Okay, that's my work, is this sexy? I will tell you the next story. No, okay, uh, so listen guys, I get it, I get it. Uh, you know, women think that it's hot for yeah. like, like, and I worked in construction. <laughs> don't get me wrong, okay? I've done it. Uh -huh. I, I carried sheetrock. I built, I built rooms. Uh, I, I, just, I did destruction too. We would have to tear down rooms, rebuild them with the sheetrock that we brought up. I'm, don't get me wrong. Oh, manly man, okay? Uh, but having said that. I don't know why you want to do that in your off time. Anyways, I mean, have you ever seen someone? Have you ever seen a man work a wet saw? Uh, no, I'm thrilled about it. I don't even know what a wet saw is, but it sounds dirty. Tyler's use it. <laughs> okay, all right, good for them. <laughs> uh, it's not for me; it's for other folks. But look, he's giving that advice to women uh, who want to uh, check out guys at Home Depot. 
I think it's kind of cool that he's doing that. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's like a thousand times better than like all the toxic Andrew Tate stuff. Just like, oh, oh this is how you- thousand percent, uh, yeah. Like the Tate stuff's like, oh, this is how you pick up women by demeaning them and treating them like trash. Yeah. This guy's like having fun and telling you, you know, Lyme is lame or whatever it is, right? Yep. It's cool, it's cool, I'm totally down for it. And by the way, I think based on my personal experience that like quote unquote picking up people at stuff at places like this is makes perfect sense. And because people have, if you're at a bar or a club in like the old days, they have their guard up, right? Mm. And their defenses are one, like all force fields are in effect. People who right? look, listen, I actually met my husband at a club, so. I'm I, the way I met my partner actually goes against what I'm about to say. However, most people who are out at clubs are not looking for a life partner, right? You go to Home Depot and you see people looking for home improvement stuff, looking to do DIY projects. These are adults and they're more likely to be looking for a partner, I think. Yeah, right? so that's there's another good reason for it. I mean, I mean in an incredible coincidence, I also Picked up my wife at a club, but it was like the only the second club I ever went to in LA. I don't know, it just happened to, to be the case. But I have picked up a girl at Taco Bell. I picked up a girl at Food Town, which is the uh, the you know big grocery chain in in New Jersey, and just by chit chatting, right? Uh, and at uh, Publix in in Miami, uh, because you start a conversation. It is a pleasure to shop there. <laughs> there you go. You see that? It certainly was for me. So I happened to pick up a Venezuelan go go dancer. So that was an extreme pleasure. At Publix? Yes. You know what? That is where you would pick up a Venezuelan go go dancer. Because Publix is dominant in Florida, and Florida has a lot of Venezuelans, a lot of Cubans, a lot of Puerto Ricans. For sure. Makes sense. In, and when I lived in Washington, I the Taco Bell was a Chinese gymnast, Olympic gymnast, okay? So, but my point is, just talk to people. You don't have to try to pick them up, right? You don't have to be cheesy about it. Although, you know, if they got cheese at Taco Bell, you could get that too. Taco uh, Supreme. Okay, but but just have like, and don't just talk to like girls or guys, depending on who you're interested in. Talk to everybody, and then things will ma like kind of magically happen because you're a friendly person who's open-minded and just interacting with the world. So that's why I like this Home Depot story. I, I wish people would talk to each other more and keep an open mind and not always have their guard up. More and saving, I, more doing. Kind of literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get to Linder and how he also shared some secrets for queer folks. Okay? There you go, I knew it. So uh, the comments I've gotten back from the women is Lowe's is actually the best spot for ladies looking for ladies. There Interesting, Home Depot Did is not, not the best spot for that. Okay, ladies looking for ladies is Lowe's. And he says hmm. that his next project will more broadly focus on LGBTQ people. He says, quote, there has been an interesting secondary conversation and one that I'm actually making a video for right now. And what do you do if you're homosexual? Uh, ladies looking for ladies and men looking for men because the math is entirely different, sections are entirely different. I love how much Patrick Linder knows about home improvement stores. Yeah, he's put a lot of thought into this. He really has. And then when we were talking about like he's putting the heart and hardware and his the thing is like architect daddy, I was waiting. For, and then he's, oh no, it's, he's an actual daddy. He has the kid in the video. Yeah, his, his <laughs> it took a turn, so didn't see it coming. Cute. I think yeah. that's really why he's doing so well with the numbers. Like everyone wants to see his adorable child. Oh, <laughs> of course. Let's, can, I, can we keep it real? He's totally using the kid for views. Totally. But yeah, it's okay. It's a cute way of doing it. I, I pardon you. Look at how cute. <laughs> Yeah, see, he's doing videos for women about how you pick up the right guys at Home Depot, and he's got a baby. This guy's a killer, okay? Yeah, don't, don't, he knows what he's doing. Don't let your guard down around this daddy. Also, <laughs> architect, pretty hot. Just keeping it real. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.